Hello, Rivermont. Today I want to talk to you about something that I could never have imagined that I would have to talk to you about as a pastor of a church, and it's about one of these things, a face mask. Now, who would have known that six, six months ago that we would have to have this debate and this talk today, and yet I know that it is uh, on so many people's hearts and minds about how they should interact with the mandate from the governor that in public places they are to wear a face mask. This has become an issue for us at the church because uh, when we initially set up our in-person worship services, we had two different services. One for those uh, who wanted to have an abundance of caution and we would require wearing face masks, and a second in which we would recommend but not require it. But with the governor's orders, we are now uh, required to wear face masks in both services. And so I wonder what you think about this and, and how you are responding to it. And I just want to give you maybe a little bit of encouragement and uh, just some insight from God's Word and my own practice when it comes to uh, wearing a face mask. Now I know that there are many of you who are suspect of this. You uh, Think back on when the pandemic first began and we were told not to wear face masks. We were told that wasn't, that wasn't going to help. And then all of a sudden uh, the tune changed and, and all of a sudden we were told that we were to wear face masks. And it feels like things are being changed on us and that we're being misled and we're being lied to by our authorities. And, and to wear a face mask seems like a submission to something that we don't agree with. And yet we know as Christians that we are called to submit to the governing authorities. We are called to obey the rules that they have laid out for us, even if we don't agree with those rules, as long as they are not immoral, as long as they don't break God's word and God's law, we are called to submit to them as unto the Lord. And yet for some of us, we still do not quite feel like we are called to submit. We don't think that it's a rightful order for the governor to give that to us. And again, I understand where you're coming from. And yet, as an institution, as a church, uh, we have asked that you would obey this uh, and that you would wear a mask when you come into the worship service unless there is some reason why you shouldn't. If there's a health concern, are you performing some duty within uh, within the church service, like uh, leading worship or leading in song, and to perform the duty uh, would be inhibited by wearing a mask. And so when I preach, I don't wear a mask because it would inhibit uh, preaching. And yet, uh, when I'm out in public, when I go to the grocery store, when I go to different places, I feel like it is uh, my duty as a Christian uh, to obey the authority that has been placed over me for my good. But if you're still in a place where you don't feel like you can submit to the governing authority, I call on you to submit to the church authority, uh, the authority of the elders. Uh, in Hebrews chapter 13, we are told, Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over your souls as those who have to give an account. As the pastor of this church, I have to give an account for how I have led this flock. And I know that there are many of you to whom this would, is a difficult thing uh, to submit to, but we are asking, unless you have some reason why, some legitimate reason why you cannot wear a mask, uh, that you would wear a mask to show love and submission uh, to your brothers in the Lord. The Apostle Paul says, I have become all things to all people, that by all means I might save some. You have to realize that the decision that you make about submitting to wearing a face mask or not wearing one not only affects you, but it affects others. And there are many who are worried about coming back to worship, desire to see an abundance of caution. And when we don't show that caution, it keeps them from being able to gather with God's people. And so we need to be willing to submit so that all people might come and worship the Lord. And so I just would encourage you, when you think through what to do with this, when to wear it, when not to wear it, uh, that you would seek the Lord in prayer. Meditate on what it means to submit to authority. Realize that if it was ever at a point where there was something immoral, of course we must follow the Lord. 
But if it's not something that is immoral, and it is designed for our good and for the good of the people, we are called, as Christians, for the sake of the Lord and for the sake of our witness, to submit to those who are in authority over us. Let us pray. Father, we ask that you would bring unity, great unity in our body, that we would not allow our body to be split by something as, uh, uh, as small and seemingly inconsequential as a face mask. Lord, but we know that you have called us, Lord, as Christians, to give a witness, and as leaders of the church, to give an account. And so may we walk in ways that shows care to our brothers and sisters in Christ. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless you, Rivermont. I look forward to seeing you again. <laughs>